Hey VC, Ron Beaudry here, Rocking Ronnie. Say, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, welcome all of my subscribers. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. I feel blessed to have any subscribers at all. And it's, been my, it's my privilege to be able to come here and give you my opinion about how these records sound. And so, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Hey, uh, picked up the... Uh, Santana. This is the 2LP now on the 45 RPM. It just been reissued again. Now, to go back to the beginning, you know, because this is an older record. It came out in 1970 and uh, 69. Yeah, great record. One of the all-time great rock records of all time with one of the greatest, you know, guitarists rock guitars of our gener of that generation or of any generation just a great great record and uh, I was lucky enough years ago I got a nice Columbia 2i an original pressing of this record and you know I had that record for 40 years probably but there was a a part on Savor I guess that's you know it's on uh, second to the last song on side one, where the drummer is hitting that cymbal. It's just he keeps on hitting it over and over again at the end of the song, and it had a bit of a, a shrillness to it, a high end, you know, and it was uh, it just used to irritate me. So I figured maybe it was something with the record, or maybe I played it too much or whatever, but. Uh, I need to uh, try to find another copy. Maybe there's a better sounding copy out there of this record. And I looked, I bought a lot of Japanese pressings. None of them were better. Um, and so I finally, just was it last year or so, I found this copy. And it's from 2005, pressed in Germany on the CBS Sony label on the Columbia label, a CBS BMG, I mean, Sony BMG on the Columbia label, out of uh, the EU, Germany, and uh, yeah, the cover's kind of thin and that, but you know what? This one sounded better than the Columbia 2i, so I was really, really happy to find that. And uh, you know, here, but a couple years back, Mofi reissued it on the Half Speed Master on the single record. This one sounded better than that. Yeah, that's how good this record is. Or that's how, you know, I've talked a lot about the mobile fidelity situation. Ever, you know, they, they've got some issues over there at Mofi Music Direct. And so. You know, when I bought that Elvis Costello record, it was on the 2LP, half speed mastered, 45 RPM, and I had the UK first press, and the UK first press was had more bass and more treble and better cymbal, and it was just a lot better record. I'm like, how can that be? What are they doing over there at uh, Mobile Fidelity? That They can't make a better record than a original pressing, when they're supposedly, you know, the kind of record this is just didn't make any sense so I I, uh, I actually I sold it on eBay but when I I next time I called uh, music direct I talked to the guy about it. I said listen I got this record and I explained the situation and he said you know our owner he wants this mobile fidelity he wants it to be the best high-end label out there he's striving to for, for greatness for this label he really so I'll let him know about your comments because he will, he'll be interested to know about that type of thing. Well, as time went on, I kept buying more and more of the Mobile Fidelity records and uh, really uh, they weren't any better. A lot, most of the time they, weren't, they were worse than just the run-of-the-mill domestic pressing that I had. And so I, when I next time I caught back to music direct, I talked to the lady out there. I talked to her about it. I said, you know, what's going on? How can this be? How can I have a Canadian original pressing of this 
uh, you know, I think it was in excess. I said, how can your has to be master, how can it be better than that? It doesn't make any sense. She says, well, you know, we've got the same people uh, working on the records. We're doing the same process. Everything's the same. We haven't changed anything. So, uh, you know, there's nobody else complaining about it. So I'm thinking, well, okay, never mind. You know, you just think I'm some kind of a crackpot or something. So don't worry about it. So here what was probably, uh, this was a while back when that Blood, Sweat and Tears 240, uh, 2LP 45 RPM, when that came out around that time, it's about a, maybe a year ago or so. Uh, I was looking on uh, YouTube and I was searching Music Direct on there and I came across a video. The owner had put out a video. And when I looked at it, it was about a year old and it had three comments on there. One was kind of dog, derogatory and the other two were just like one sentence. So I took the opportunity, I said, hey, if anybody is paying attention to this page, I've got a lot to say about, you know, mobile fidelity and my experience with it, if anybody cares to know about it. Well, it was only a couple of days later, someone got back to me and said, yeah. She said, uh, I contacted our, our people and they, they remembered you that you had been complaining about this earlier. But what we need to know is, you know, give me some specifics about what LPs you bought and what were your complaints about it. And so I, I listed all that. And at the end of it, I said, listen, I just bought a record by ORG. It was a it wasn't half speed mastered now, and it was on a two LP forty five RPM. And it sounds utterly fantastic. It's probably one of the best records that I've ever heard in my life. I said, if you can figure out what they're doing, because what they're doing is what you're not doing. It's a completely different sound they can get out of that record that you can't seem to find it if you can figure out what they're doing and you can do that you that's what you need to do so what in the world we got a 2lp 45 rpm record coming up coincidence i don't think so but anyway you know i'm just kidding um now let's get on with this one 2lp 45 rpm and you know look at how thick this record is this has been the one thing, and you know, it's limited edition. I got number 604. You always like to have a low number. So, that's what's nice about Mobile Fidelity. The packaging is first rate, very thick covers, very, I mean, luxurious artwork, very, you know, just top of the line stuff. And they come with a nice little inner sleeve protector. Of course, it's advertising, but you know, it's pretty thick, thick, and it protects the uh, the outside cover from getting ring wear because you've got an extra layer of protection in there. And uh, you know, the records are pressed at RTI. I mean, really nice pressings, and they come with a great inner sleeve, the kind I like, so I know I don't have to uh, go and spend extra money to replace that. So that's always been top of the line. Mobile Fidelity, uh, Music Direct, they do a, they're do they doing a better job, or they're doing about the same as uh, when it was a 200 and a disc. I don't remember who owned it that time, but this is the kind of product that they were putting out at the time. So now, when I put it on, I'm listening to it, and you know, right off the first three, four notes, right away, boom, I said, wow. That's what I'm talking about. You've got another octave of bass on this record than you've got, than I've had on this one. That's what you should do when you get a half-speed mastered record. That's what you should get, and that's what this has got. And now, we get to that part of that song where you're hitting the cymbal, the part that kind of irritates me, even on this record to a degree, and uh, no, it's a completely different world now. It's not only just that, you know, swishing of the cymbal, what you hear. I'm hearing him hit the cymbal. I'm hearing the brass 
I can actually hear the brass now of the cymbal. I can hear the decay, and then I hear the, the swish of the cymbal at the end of all of that. So I'm getting a completely different sound altogether. I'm getting a lot more information, more detail. That's what half speed mastering is supposed to do. And that's what it's doing in spades on this. This is the kind of record when you're listening to it. I'm just thinking about it right now. I'm getting chill bumps because that, that's what happens. You get the hair on your head starts standing up on end. You get all the chill bumps. All your hairs are standing up. Listen to this record. That's the kind of that's just kind of a thrill ride you get with this thing. Wonderful record. Couldn't be happier because what what why I complained about it is because you know Mo Fidelity is a label that audiophiles like me love because you know there's always been audiophile labels but they do jazz records and they do classical records and they do all this other stuff that but you know we want rock records well that's what MoFi did they came out and they did you know uh, some David Bowie Spiders from Mars and they did you know uh, Jethro Tull Aqua Long and they did the Beatles and they did a lot of the the rock, like Santana, they did rock records that I want that I want to listen to in high-end sound. And for some reason, it, was, it wasn't working. So now, yeah, this is a fantastic sounding record. I'm proud to own it. And uh, it's a little pricey. It's like $50, but I tell you what, it's well worth the money. Well worth the money. Because for the thrill ride you get with that record, and for what you can do else, do with $50, and you can listen to this over and over and over again. You know, Christmas is coming. You got a birthday coming up, whatever. Tell the wife, hey, that's what I want for my birthday. And get that record. It's unbelievably great. And thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for all my subscribers for tuning in. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.